Anyo Asiyo. I'm Jacqueline Lian Akalar. And welcome to my blog. La 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 la. Romantic Sunday. La 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 la. It's a beautiful and shiny day. Don't I look pretty? For today's vlog, we will learn about the proper table manners in South Korea. Okay, let's learn now. Ana, dose. Number one, know your utensils. You should always use utensils. No fingers. The spoon is for your rice and soup, and your chopsticks are for everything else. It's uncut for Koreans to use both your spoon and chopsticks at the same time. Number two. Use crockery correctly. You will have a small plate in front of you. Put all your food on this before you eat. In Koreans all tradition, it is much more polite to stoop right over the table than to leave your soup or rice bowl to your mouth. Number 3. Your neighbor's or elder's glass should always be full. At formal gatherings, it is very important to show your respect to others if you pour their drinks and make it half full. When you pour drinks, it is polite for Koreans that you should always use both hands. Number 4. Of course, don't spread germs. If you need to cough or sneeze, you should turn away from the table and cover your nose and mouth with a napkin. If you need to blow your nose, you should go to the bathroom. Also, you should keep your mouth closed while chewing. Making loud noises won't be seen as appreciation of the food but as bad manners. Lastly, say thank you. Kamsyanita. Korea is a polite society. Be appreciative and it will go a long way. It is very important in any part of the world to express our gratitude and appreciation for having a good meal. Wow, Koreans are good people. As a proud LMVA yan. The things that we learned today about the Koreans we make us to become a better person in the future. If all of us learn how to respect in small ways, what more a big change we can do to our world. That's it for today's vlog. Come see Annyeong! Subscribe the channel!